humming, 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 humming. Thank you, darling. Yeah, some say revenge is a dish best served cold. So whatever happened to that Bob guy you were after? Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Like, uh, I don't know, did you ever go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a red man? Yes, I did, Ben. I remember once I was after this renegade Apache, Grey Wolf. Strangely enough, revenge was also his primary motivation. Dances with the renegade. <sighs> the bounty was put on Grey Wolf's head. So that's tired. how I came to hunt him in the mountains. Mountains so high they tickled the nether regions of heaven. Alright, here we go. Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during his daughter's sacred sunrise ceremony. And the slaughter was unspeakable. I understood his anger, as there's nothing more traumatic than seeing those you love die in a cruel and painful death. Right from the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. Yay! He led a band of young older. Apache warriors who wanted retribution and were more than willing to die for him. They saw me before I saw them. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea, but now that the shooting has started, there was no backing down. Wow! Ah! It was rugged country, the winter home of the Cherokawas, and that's why they had retreated there. I admit to having some regrets about going after them the way I did, but then again, I got a lot of those. did find the entrance to their hideout. that led to a deeper cave. Don't tell me you went in there. Yeah, but it's not out of bravery so much as pure, angry cussedness. Oh. <laughs> 
super accurate hip shot. <laughs> it's a glitch. See, back then, I had a stubborn streak a mile wide. And I wasn't about to back down. So it was like pitch black in there? Actually, it was pretty well lit if they had torches on the wall. Sweet, I just got a quadra kill. That's pretty sick. Where you at, Grey Wolf? How big was this cave? Big as hell, man. <laughs> Chimikawa had hit out there during the Indian Wars. Oh, Saka. They thought it was haunted with the ghosts of those murdered by the horse soldiers. The cave was haunted with dead Indian ghosts? To be honest, I was more concerned with the live ones than the dead ones. Why they run at me? It's so funny though. How come you know so much about engines? A few years back, I was married to two Mescalero women. At the same time? Yeah, they were sisters. Polygyny is traditional among the Mescalero. So what happened? Oh, I had to get out of there. Those girls never shut up. Both of them nagging at me all the time. Drove me half crazy. Haven't seen them since. I came upon this flooded grotto, and that's when I saw him. He came to me unarmed and unafraid. His voice echoed in the shadows. And I sensed he meant me no harm. You carry great darkness in your heart. And if you do not release it, it will claim your soul. The sound of his voice put some kind of ancient Indian spell on me. As his story unfolded in my mind. You will come to this place again and kill many more men, and the darkness will grow until it consumes everything that you are. The soul will have no rain. I have no tears. He said I was a great warrior. A coyote man, unequaled by any other pale-faced warrior, or something like that. The snakes will bite shadows of your past until a venom poisons your heart, and an echo of the song of the dead summons the spirits deep from within the mountains. I didn't quite get what he was saying, but there was definitely snakes. And indeed, his warriors surrounded me and attacked me like hungry wolverines. They couldn't stop me though, and Grey Wolf wasn't in the mood for idle talk. see any way out of this trap but suddenly one just appeared kind of like a mirror I felt like I would be lost in that damn cave forever finally I found myself back outside first on the edge of a precipice overlooking a thundering white water river to get where I was going required several leaps of faith but no way in hell I was turning back. I chased after him, determined to make him explain the meaning of all that mumbo-jumbo. Mumbo-jumbo is right. Are you making this all up as you go? A few details may be fuzzy, brother, but I am relating exactly what happened. There were dozens of Apache warriors aiming at me from on high. Dozens? Well, maybe not dozens, but... 
There was a lot of them. At least three or four. Well, more than that, little lady. I don't know how I survived that. Oh, there's the other guy. Oh, there we go. Okay. I had a steep Couldn't climb find him. up <laughs> ahead of me and scrambled up those rocks like a mountain goat. Chase him. I was determined to Chase locate him. Gray Wolf and find out exactly what the hell he was trying to tell me. And wouldn't you know it, that crafty son of a bitch led me right into a trap. What kind of trap? Well, son, there had to be at least a hundred Apaches around him. A hundred? God be my witness. <laughs> oh, come on. Who are you kidding? Hey, I believe you. Come on, tell us how it ended. All right, but I'm not going to drag this out. Where were we? Deal some headshots without even aiming. Pressing and holding RB will eat up all of your concentration in exchange for marking nearby enemies for execution with perfect headshots. Ooh, I unlocked a legendary golden rifle. Pile. Yeah! Well, I didn't take the time to count them exactly, but there were a lot of them. Isn't even working, the little RB thingy. Oh, I forget it. There we go. Alright, I fixed it. That was sick. Alright, I'm gonna after this I'm gonna get the dual wielding desperado. before me that I had not seen before. I followed it as I desperately needed to find out what Grey Wolf was trying to tell me. But it was like that some of bitch disappeared into thin air. Never did find him. And never did collect my goddamn bounty. Ah, poor you. Hey, darling, it's interesting how the truth can sometimes seem, uh, might malleable, depending upon your point of view. Like how those dime novels make you out to be something you're not? Jack, don't be starting trouble. No, he's right. They do tend to exaggerate. Did they exaggerate your part in taking down the Daltons? Well, I was there in the flesh, boy, so I saw what happened firsthand. Those Daltons were lawmen once, before they all went bad, robbing banks and trains clear across the territory. Until Coffeeville, of course. I was one of the citizens who took up arms that day. Fighting on the side of the right? I did my best, sir. We all did. I had to move my computer screen forward a little bit. Give my monkey swell. Alright, they call me Bounty Hunter. There we go. It was early morning. 
One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the dogs got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. The story was Bob Dalton's girl was always riding him about how he had no ambition. Well, the locals recognized the Daltons right off. Before they could get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. Brothers paid dearly for their stupidity, but everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. First of all, it was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The raw men had been tracking the Daltons for months. Now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by many a lawbreaker. This man had no intention of letting the Daltons slip away. The marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. We just gotta wait for some bitches out. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. He went in there alone to confront those criminals. One of the marshals shouted, Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? That rifle's mine. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. Brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. <laughs> We've got company. Heroic men like him who did what other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. Is that Silas Green? Son of a Jim bitch! Bird, Davy Crockett who died defending the Alamo. Dust finally settled. He was the last man standing. Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. It was early evening, not high noon. I was late to the party, and Coffeeville was already up in arms. Daltons blew up the safe, and were all set to hightail it out of there. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. I had been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. They did. Those stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody knew them. But they still had friends in coffee men. Those friends came after me like a pack of wild dogs. Tooth and nail. They were coming at me from all directions. 
caught sight of the Daltons running with the money and didn't want to lose them. Gotham was, they knew the town better than I did. And to top it off, I found myself in the middle of another shootout entirely. Did the Daltons hole up in somebody's house? No, it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. They were cousins of the Daltons. And they were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Daltons. Wow. <laughs> I probably should have dodged that, but I didn't because I'm retarded, so... No, it was the, uh, Smiths, I believe. They were cousins of the Dolphins. And they were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Dolphins. Which wasn't any surprise, because those two families have been feuding forever. And since the Joneses are related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths. Pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well, bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot of pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just the way life is sometimes. Shit happens. The Dalton boys knew I would never give up. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer, but they always stood together. They set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The third brother stayed behind to plant me, just in case that trap of theirs didn't work. It was him, the youngest. And he decided to stand his ground and face me down. I ain't afraid of you, Silas Reeves. This is where it is for you. He was determined to protect his brothers. And I understood how he felt. Taking me on all by his lonesome wasn't exactly a recipe for a long life. I'm gonna pledge you where you stand. You are dead, loud dog. Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in him? Yay! But I have to admit, that boy had grit. Oh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for more. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. Uh, yeah. Hello everybody and welcome back to Call of War as Gunslinger. Um, I just verified my YouTube channel to upload longer videos so there won't be as many parts. Uh, and you can watch like, uh, like say this part right now. It will actually be longer than most of my parts. So it's kind of like two or three parts in one little video. So yeah. Um, I don't know how high it can go up to. I guess it said I can upload videos longer than 15 minutes so I don't know if it's like 20 or 30 I, I don't know but whatever I'm gonna go with it and uh, yeah we'll get those it took me a couple of days to track the Daltons down they can't get away with this and in that time a whole posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand we'll track them to the ends of the earth. they seemed as determined as me to find those outlaws but as we headed into those swamps, it was like I had my own private army. There was no way those boys were getting away this time. For those of you wondering, I can also record in 1080p, but uh, I haven't been. Just because of the upload time, and I love this game so much, so I don't really want to upload um, 
really high it quality really content because right? it'll take Beautiful forever to upload. At least you had it already takes pretty long, side. but I mean, whatever. By my recollection, it was damp and foggy as hell. It was tough to stay on a true course, so we kept an eye out for landmarks. It was autumn. The maple trees were in full color, red as blood. The rains that year were torrential, so the whole area was flooded. The vigilantes had spread out wide, and pretty soon I couldn't see anybody. It's like my second secret in the entire game. <laughs> oh. Oh snap, level up. Um. I would put it in Gunslinger. Revolver ammo. Concentrated. Longer combo. So stop killing frenzy so soon. Yeah, I'll do this one because I can get more experience and stuff. Except for some son bitches ahead of me wanting to do me harm, so I had to face them alone. I wondered why my compatriots didn't come running when they heard the shots. That's because they were dead? Can I not go through here? Haha, <laughs> I can. So did you find the Daltons? Not yet. But I did have the questionable pleasure of meeting a few of their friends. Oh, there you are. I see you up there. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Miss! No, miss! No, miss! Oh my god. Just miss every shot. That is just bad. That is so bad. The boys had established quite a reputation by that time, so they attracted all manner of riffraff to their cause. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for that big giant noise or whatever. I don't know what has been happening lately with the game, but uh, yeah, I fixed it and we're back, so sorry about that. I'm just gonna cut that part out probably. But uh, there's a big giant, like annoying, crazy noise. But I fixed it, so it's good. <laughs> Scrambled up top to get a better view. But just ended up falling inside. So, how did you get out? The barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. But that goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Steve. So I just started walking, and pretty soon I... Indian. 
has surrounded me from all sides. I just wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. Now, where was I? <laughs> you were following wow. the Daltons through a swamp? <laughs> That's right. See, Steve? Dwight's uh, paying attention. No, I, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. So, where was I? Right. Daltons. Wow. See, there's a reason. So, being brother is a very sacred thing. Noise is really bad. This noise is really freaking annoying. And I'm gonna figure out what it is right now. I gotta figure out what the frick this noise is. Alright. Whatever. Okay, let's figure out what this noise is, and I'll be back in a second. 